I just want to make an observation. Uh, this heresy of easy believism, it's not really easy. Uh, I've been dealing with these heretics for a long time now, and they say it's only belief. It's only belief. You say, well, I do believe Jesus died for my sins. They say, yes, but you teach you have to have a changed life, so you're not genuinely saved. So then it's not just easy to believe. Because if it was just salvation, was just simply belief in Jesus dying on the cross to pay for your sins, and you put your faith in that, well, there's a lot of people that believe that. You know, a whole lot of people. And including a lot of atheists that say, I once believed that Jesus died for my sins and I was a faithful Christian and went to church and the whole deal. And then they fall away. And they say, I'm an atheist now, I hate God. So according to the easy believism heretics, apparently, they're saved. And those of us that say, I believe in Jesus and he changed my life. Well, no, you're not saved. See? it's That's why it's a satanic heresy. Let me show you what the idea of real salvation is all about. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. You know, that really sums up what salvation is all about. Jesus Christ died for sinners. And when you are a sinner... When you are in this life and you're sinning and you're messing up, you get tired of that life and you want a way out of it. And somebody comes and says, are you good enough to get to heaven? A sinner is going to say, no. Or they might say, I, I don't know. I, I, I hope I can. And you show them the Ten Commandments. You take them through the law. Law is our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. You take them through that and you say, are you a sinner? If you had to stand before God and give an account of the things that you've done in your life, would you make it? And, you know, you say, I don't think I'd make it. And I had to come to that point and believe that. I had prayed the little prayer. I had uh, believed that Jesus died for my sins way back when I was a little boy, back in Sunday school. But I wasn't living for the Lord. I was living just like a lost person. See, I had a belief, but there was no repentance involved. So apparently, I guess according to the, some of these easy believers and fakers, uh, I don't even know how they work that out. I had their system of belief as a boy, but then when I truly got saved, as the Bible teaches it, then I lost it or something. Or perhaps I'm lost or I'm saved now, but I just preach like a lost man or something. How does it work? You know, and I often t ask these heretics, and I've said this many times, and this is what you say to these heretics when they start bringing this stuff up. You say, um, okay, I believe repentance means a changed life happens after salvation. They say, well, you're a work salvationist. Okay, what do I need to do according to your system to be saved? Well, it's easy to be saved. You just believe. I already do believe. Yes, but you have to believe and not teach what you... Well, then that's two things. You see? You have to believe, have to have that faith and belief, but you can't do anything else. There can be no changed life. There can be if you want to, but you don't have to, and all this other stuff. I mean, think about the basics of their system. They want to find justification to be able to continue in sin. And then they'll say, well, you're teaching sinless perfection. I've never taught sinless perfection. I have sermons against it. They're liars. They're terrible liars. But our text right here says, Jesus Christ speaking, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. That's what salvation is. You become a bondservant of Jesus Christ. And you know what? When you've lived in sin for years and years and years and you're sick and tired of that sin, when you are uh, laboring and heavy laden with this life of sin that you've messed up and messed up and messed up and messed up and you go, there's no way I'm getting into heaven. There's just no way. I'm not good enough. I say, well, only believe. And you go, believe in what? Well, did Jesus died for your sins? Died for my sins? Well, what happens if I put my faith in Jesus Christ? Am I going to just continue in this stuff? No. Take my yoke upon you. He'll change your life. He will help you to get rid of those sins. He will help you to have that new life in Christ Jesus. That new walk. You'll become a new creature in Christ. But see, that's repulsive to somebody that's not tired of their sin. 
that's repulsive to somebody that wants to keep one foot in the world and one foot in the church. They don't like the idea of having to turn from their sin. And that's why these people say, come up with things like, it's only belief. It's only belief. It's only belief. <laughs> They're liars. Don't listen to them.